this 2022 Yamaha MT-07 Matte Raven Black has turned out awesome in this build series, guys. This is episode number five. I've been able to take this bike from 406 pounds stock down to 388 pounds modded. That's an 18 pound weight loss and it's about to lose some more weight. And also I'm going to be increasing the sound and performance on this bike because in this episode, I will be removing the baffle in this Akrapovich carbon full racing exhaust and also installing a k and performance air filter, a radiator guard, and I'll be taking off these passenger pegs and I'll weigh that and see how much extra weight I'll save by removing that. But let's get started. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. First off, if you own an MTL7 and you're thinking about getting the MTL7, make sure you get a radiator guard and install it right away because this bike, I'll tell you, the radiator is very exposed here. So all it takes is a rock to kick up back here and break a fin off. And next thing you know, you got overheating on your bike and you're stranded, man. Um, this is fairly inexpensive. I have a link to this. It's very easy to install. I'm going to show you in this video. Also, I have a link to this K&N Performance Air Filter, this spring puller. If you install an aftermarket exhaust, make sure you get a spring puller, man. It makes it so much easier to install an aftermarket exhaust. And I'll, I'm going to show you when I take the baffle off and also I have these awesome bar in mirrors these look how awesome those are they're awesome this phone holder that charges the phone also it has an auxiliary port there that charges my my camera which I have my GoPro Hero camera mount which I have a link to as well so I don't have to put batteries on the camera that I have installed on my bars um, links to all the performance mods I've done on this bike so far the aftermarket exhaust everything I have links in the description and comment section section of this video and also I have my awesome gear I have links to all my gear like this airbag vest that I never leave home without help keep me safe out on the streets my ultra lightweight carbon fiber helmet that comes with an automatic tent shield motor vlog camera gauntlet gloves pants boots all my gear I include links in the description and comment section of this video now the first installation I'm going to do is this can and air filter the first thing we got to do is we got to remove these tank covers See off. You gotta take this bracket off here. Like I said, it comes with the tools you need underneath the passenger seat. And go ahead and just take this bracket off. Okay. Then you remove these bolt on each side here. And remove the other side too. Okay, then you take this piece of plastic here and just lift up carefully. Use your fingers on the side to get this up. There you go. You got a push pin here and there and lift up. You got a bolt here. Make sure you remove the spacer. And then you got these two here. Got two bolts up here. And then you got a push pin here. Take your finger and pull that out. You got one on the other side too. Let's go ahead and remove the side and remove the other side and you got to remove these two side bolts here remove the spacer here too okay, remove it on this side too we'll go ahead and remove this there you go okay now we got to remove these two bolts and same on the other side so that we can lift this tank up okay we got to remove this side too Okay, here's a stock air filter. I did remove that top snorkel, um, but now we're gonna go ahead and replace this with the K&N air filter. Now you gotta remove these four screws here. In order to get those two back ones, we're gonna have to prop this tank up. Use a ratchet extension here to prop this up. Go ahead and use a shorty screw here. Okay. And there's a screw in this hole here. Okay, there we go. So there is, see, here's a screw. Here's a stock filter versus the K&N filter. Provides much more airflow. We'll see if that equates to increased performance. 
Okay, so you just go ahead and put this in here. Okay, now here's a stock snorkel, and I'm just gonna go ahead and take the snorkel off. Comes right out, pops right out. And install this back on. Put everything back. Okay, before I put everything back, I'm gonna go ahead and put on the radiator guard. Okay, so we'll weigh the radiator guard and we'll have to add this weight on eight ounces. I'm gonna go ahead and put on the radiator guard. Just remove two bolts here and remove two bolts here. This just goes over the brackets. There you go. And we just put them back on. Okay, the bracket is on there. So now you don't have to worry about any rocks hitting up on there. Okay, got the fairings back on. Check it out, radiator guard looking proper. Now it's time to go ahead and remove the baffle from the exhaust. So we gotta remove this bolt and get the spring puller and pull these springs off and then pull the can out. And go ahead and remove this baffle. I'm gonna show you how to do it. First off, before we get started, just wanna let you know, if you wanna get this Akrapovich carbon fiber full racing exhaust, I have a link to it in the description and comment section of this video. Definitely, if you got an MTL 7, this is really the best exhaust to get, in my opinion. If you don't have this spring puller, I got a link to it in the description and comment section of the video. Put it this way. There we go. See how easy that is, the spring? There we go. And to take the baffle off, Right here is a rubber grommet right there. You gotta remove that. Ah, see, and there is the bolt. Oh, comes out easy. Here you go, here's the bolt right there. There you go. There it is. We can remove the baffle's weight, which we removed off the bike, and the baffle weighs five ounces, so we only need to add three ounces extra for the radiator guard. Okay, I put the can back on. As you can see there without the baffle, the hole is a lot larger, so it'll flow more air, and it'll sound better. Also, make sure you put that little rubber grommet back in there, because you wouldn't want it to rain and water get up in there. Now I'm going to go ahead and reflash the ECU with this DinoJet ECU flasher. I have a link to this device in the description and comment section of this video. And you can flash the ECU on nearly any new motorcycle. And what I love about this device is it retains the stock settings. So you can always go back to stock. And you can update it anytime you want to. You don't no need to send the ECU off. This is really awesome. I will be doing a future video tutorial on this. So stay tuned for that. Now I'm going to go ahead and remove the passenger peg. Something I normally don't do on motorcycles. Because I feel like it provides some protection should you drop it. Especially when you leave the pegs down. But I'm going to go ahead and take them off. Because I'm curious to see how much weight it will save. Man, things are on tight. Oh man, you can't remove these passenger pegs. The rear brake reservoir is attached to the passenger peg, so oh well. I'm not gonna be removing it. <laughs> it does look like they make a rear reservoir mount for the MTL7 so you can do the passenger peg delete, but it's out in Australia, so I'm gonna have to order this and give an update in a future build video. Now I need to take this out on the street so I can hear what this bike sounds like without that baffle. Next video, I'm taking this out on the streets to see if it's any faster with that K&N filter. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Man, look at this. This thing ripped. Stay tuned for the next video, guys. Appreciate you guys. Make sure to hit thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. Hit that little bell symbol so you get notified when my videos release. And I release new videos every Sunday, Tuesday, and Thursday at 11.30 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. Yeah, baby. And I might be getting another bike, too. I might go back and add a super bike to the garage. Yeah, get back to the super bike routes. Stay tuned. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. 
Don't forget to comment and subscribe and check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto, where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.